Hey everybody, this is Miss Storm back with another video. Today we are having a little conversation about metric conversions. Metric conversions. This is actually in video two that I've made. This video is the easy peasy lemon squeezy video for students who are still struggling with the concept, okay? So, for the majority, most of the students have mastered this skill. I just got about two or three students who need a little bit more help, and that is okay. Okay, as long as you master the skill, Ms. Norm wants to make sure that all of my students are mastering their math skills, right? So, when you think about metric conversions, first thing I want you to do is draw your stair steps. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, okay? We're going to put our king, K for king. This is Kilo, Hecta, Deca. This is the base here. This is the house for three units. This is deci, centi, and millimeter, which is about the size of a little dot on your paper. At the base, we have grams, liters, and meters. You want to draw your step stops for every problem until you have mastered the skill. Do not skip this step. This is why I think you all are um, not getting the concept yet, okay, because you have to draw you have to show your brain that this is some important information so draw your metric conversion steps every time you do the problem after you've done that maybe about 10 times and 10 problems this way withdrawing the steps every time you do the problem then your brain will start to trigger this is important information let me own in on it okay so here stair steps and then we're going to draw ourselves a little legend here when we divide okay we move that way when we multiply we're moving this way. You ready? I'm simplifying, parents, so I'm not giving an explanation for every step. This is the simple, 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 easy peasy lemon squeezy version for students who are still struggling with the concept, okay? So here, let's do a practice problem. I believe I have your homework pulled up. Let me see. 13.2 kilograms is converted to how many grams? So let's write it out. 13.2 kilograms is converted to how many grams? So first thing you want to note is that you always want to start at the number that you do know and you're converting over to the number that you don't know. So we're going to start with kilo and jump to grams, okay? So let me grab another color. Here we go. And let's get busy. Kilograms is here. We're going to jump to grams. One, two, three. We jumped three times, okay? And then we jump to the right or down the stairs. That means we're going to multiply by a one with three zeros behind it because we did three jumps. You got it? Good. Very good. Go back to your equation. 13.2 times a one with three zeros behind it. So that's times 1,000. My students know how to do power of 10, multiplication and division. They know if you see the decimal, you can move your decimal, okay? So I'm going to write my 13.2 down here so that I have room to move the decimal. How many zeros are in your power of 10 number? Three zeros. So that means we're going to move our decimal three place values. But the question is which way? We're multiplying, so we're going to move our decimal to the right, okay? That tells you which way to move your decimal. Let's get busy. One, two, three, replace the decimal and fill in your empty spaces with a zero. So our answer here is one, three, two, zero, zero with a decimal at the end, but since there's no more numbers, you don't have to add the decimal. Only thing we're missing is a comma, okay? So 13.2 kilograms equals 13,200 grams, okay? Easy stuff, but... Nothing's wrong with this. You need repetition. You need to do the concept over and over and over again. So let's do another one. You ready? <laughs> and you all can pause the video as much as you need to. As long, anything, everything that helps. I want, Ms. Dorm wants us to learn the concepts and own them. Okay? So that you don't forget them. I can almost guarantee you're going to see this again before you graduate 8th grade. You're going to definitely see it again in high school and in college you're going to see this again and sometimes on the workforce. I remember taking a test to work at 11 I saw metric conversion. So you all, make sure you start mastering your skills. Do what it takes to master the skill. Okay? Alright, let's go to another one. We need to draw what? 
I uh, hope you said that we need to draw our metric staircase. Good. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Good. Fill in your letters. King Henry died. This is the base. It has the house for three units. Drinking chocolate milk. Okay. The base holds grams, meters, and liters. All right. And don't forget your legend. We're dividing. Okay, we move this way. When we're multiplying, we move that way, right? All right. Let me change colors. All right, the next problem I see on this homework sheet, let's see. 2.5 liters equals how many milliliters? So let's write it. So you always want to go in and analyze. Make sure you know what you're doing. Here is where we have our number, right? For whatever reason, my iPad's lagging. Okay, so let me grab a pen. Here we have our number, so we're going to convert over to the unknown. So we're converting from meters to milliliters, okay? Meters. Is that what this says? Hold on, let me double check or something. Liters. I'm sorry, you all, to milliliters. Yeah, you can't switch units. So let me fix that, okay? Everybody makes mistakes, but it matters if you fix the mistake and don't just leave it as a mistake, okay? We're converting from liters to milliliters, all right? So we're going to jump from liters to millis. Let's get ready to jump. One, two, three. So we jump three times. That means a one with three zeros behind it. Are we multiplying or dividing? Which way did we jump? We jumped this way, so that means we're going to multiply. So we're multiplying by 1,000. Go back to your equation. 2.5 times 1,000. Okay? Very good. All right. We know that we move our decimal. You count how many zeros are in your base 10 number. I'm going to write it down here. We're going to move our decimal, three place values, to the right because we're multiplying. 1, 2, 3. We place the decimal. And fill in the empty spaces with a zero. Very good. So the answer here is 2,500. I'm writing with my finger, so bear with me, buddies, okay? 2,500 milliliters is our answer. You got it? Pause the video as much as you need to. Go back in. Rewind it if you need to, okay? It's going to make you one at a different pace. That's the best thing about the videos. You can go at your own pace. Nobody's there but you, okay? Let's try one more. One more, and hopefully you'll be able to finish up your homework problems tonight, okay? There's a lot, but I want you all to master this because we have plenty, and I mean plenty, of math to learn, right? We're going into dividing decimals this week coming up. After that, we have a whole school year of math to learn. I don't want to have to keep going back to metric conversions. I want you all to master the skills so we can learn new things, right? All right, one more problem. And you know we have to draw our metric conversion stair steps. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Fill in your letters. King Henry died, right, by drinking chocolate milk, okay? So some parents may ask, why are the uh, letters here, capitalizing letters here, are lowercase? These are smaller units. So a milliliter, millimeter, let me see if I can grab that. Here we go. A millimeter is about the size of a dot on paper. Kilo is about the size of 10 football fields. So I usually capitalize this side, lowercase this side. And then you all know that base is the house for three units. Okay. I have a pen here. So our three units are eaters, liters, grams. Good. They can go in any order. It's up to you. All right. Don't forget your legend. At the top, this helps us. So we can't forget and we divide. We're moving our decimal this way. Multiply this way. Okay. All right. Let me grab a problem from your sheet, sweetie pie, honey bunches of oats. I see. I'm trying to pick a nice juicy one. A oh boy. Uh, let's try 2,602 grams converted to kilograms. Is that okay? 
1,513 milliliters converted to liters. You want to try that? Okay, I'll try that one. Okay, so let's get ready to write it out. I'll switch colors. 1,513 milliliters is converted over to liters. You got it? All right, so you know we're going to start with the part of the equation that we know the number, and we're converting over to the unknown number, right? So milli, okay, milli, and we're jumping to liters. Milli's here, so let's get ready to jump. One, two, three. We jump three times, so that means that that's a one with three zeros behind it. But which way did we jump? This time we jumped up the stairs, so we know that we're dividing, okay? So we're dividing our number by 1,000. Let's go back to the equation. One, five, one, three, divided by 1,000, okay? All of my students know how to do their power 10 division, right? So here we count how many zeros are in our power 10 number. That's three zeros. We're going to move our decimal three place values. We're dividing, so we know we're going to move our decimal to the left. If you don't see a decimal, where is the decimal? Yes, behind the number, right? One, two, three, we place the decimal, and our answer is one decimal, five, one, three, okay? In math language, you would say one and 513 thousandths, because this number stops in the thousandths place. Let's write our answer here. One, three, and the answer is one and 513 thousandths liters. You got it? I hope this helps, buddies. Give me a like, a thumbs up. And people of the world, if this helps you, please share it with somebody that you think may need the concept. I love everybody. Hopefully we understand better than we did before we saw the video. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.